day, I was just thinking about what we could do on Main Street that would pique people's curiosity and thought about having Archie sitting on a bench. The original idea was to just recognize the fact that Archie was drawn in Meredith, uh, but it, it grew beyond that. I'm Chris Williams, I'm an architect, and I am the chair of the design committee for the Greater Meredith Program. Chris Williams uh, came up with the idea. Our committee felt that it was an excellent idea and uh, we decided to move forward with the project and make it a part of the 250th anniversary of Meredith. My name is Jim McFarlane. I'm a member of the Greater Meredith Program. I first got involved with the project two and a half to three years ago, and I volunteered to be the chairman of the Archie Statue Subcommittee. It is uh, September 1st, uh, 2016 years. Great Meredith Program has uh, invited to submit statue proposal and call to artists. Uh, my name is uh, Valery Mahucci. I'm from Belarus. I'm sculptor, professional, and I have uh, about 25 years practice. With sculpture. First proposal, it is like in bench. Another proposal, uh, like Archie uh, figure. It is figure and like Archie emerging uh, from new sprint comes into the world. But uh, competition decides Archie in bench better. In order for Valeri to create his sculpture, it, he actually needed the physical place where it was going to be seated. So we were tasked with creating the bench before the sculpture was ever started as a process. My name is Steve Hayden and I'm a sculptor and wood artist uh, working in Meredith, New Hampshire. We made the bench um, and then delivered it to Valeri's studio where he actually used the real bench to create his clay model on to make sure that there would be a perfect fit for the sculpture on the piece. I worked with Valeri on the statue um, closely, um, went up there multiple times and worked with him, which was great, great fun actually. <laughs> um, tweaking things and uh, perhaps trying to represent my, my dad in a way uh, from an artistic point of view. I'm Lynn Montana. I'm Bob Montana's second daughter. Um, we'd had other ideas thrown out over the years, um, but I really think the bench was the best idea yet. Once the statue, uh, the full-size model was completed, uh, and that was early January of 2018, the bench and the full-size clay model were delivered to the foundry, Green Foundry, um, in Elliott, Maine. After delivery in foundry made mold and cast with bronze. The installation, it seemed like we had half the town there for most of it. DPW, the uh, GMP design committee team, the sculpture walk team, all combined to do the final installation of Archie. We then covered him up and he was ready uh, to be dedicated and unveiled uh, the next day, August 9th at noon. One, two, three! Welcome home, Archie! Uh, my first reaction to this sculpture was, I, I just loved it. It just made me smile. It was breathtaking. The first time seeing a teenage, life-size Archie sitting on a bench. I was, it was pretty exciting. It was an amazing event with all those people there. and To see it all together um, at the unveiling, was, it was very emotional. I think every uh, sculpture is important, but it is like uh, memory. And so it's a way for, you know, generations to be able to place, um, place the Archie character with Meredith. Uh, the importance of the sculpture was to honor the quiet leadership and contributions of Bob Montana to the community of Meredith 
and to the uh, greater state of New Hampshire. His influence um, and contributions were statewide. I like to think that the importance of the statue is a way to commemorate my father, both in that he created something that will live for a long time, and also is a way of acknowledging the participation and the work and the energy and the creativity and the love that my dad put into the town of Meredith. He loved living in Meredith. It was the probably the only real home he ever had. And it's nice to know that uh, even after all this time, he's still remembered in a good way, which is rare these days. <laughs> someone who makes you laugh and someone who helped contribute to a better place to live. Mm -hmm.